Have you ever wondered how you can use a WhatsApp bot for your business? Well, sometimes a bot can feel a little bit futuristic and one of the key challenges with WhatsApp is the fact that the WhatsApp for business app seems to be developed for very small businesses with not very complicated requirements. And then the WhatsApp API is like this absolute monster that requires development and requires a team that knows exactly what they're doing as well as access into the WhatsApp API from Facebook. So so this can really make WhatsApp and WhatsApp bots seem unappealing for the rest of us. But in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down 15 ways in which you could use a WhatsApp bot for your business, regardless of what industry you find yourself in. And also at the end, I'm going to be sharing a solution that actually bridges this gap between the WhatsApp for Business app and the WhatsApp API. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. This video is timestamped, so do check in the description box below if you want to jump to a specific use case that resonates with you. Please feel free to do so. I value your time and I'm sure you know why you're here. So please do feel free to jump ahead. Otherwise, stick with me for the full 15. And then at the end, of course, we're going to be breaking down that solution that may come in handy for your business. So let's get started with number one. All right, so number one on our list is a registration or a sign up process. So this is, of course, one of the most tedious processes for most most websites, mainly because people have to fill these things out so regularly that we can really make it a lot simpler by having a customer do this on WhatsApp. So we can number the options and make it really easy for them to actually engage with us, which is obviously a little bit easier than a drop down on a website, but it allows people to sign up for our service, for our platform, or create a user login or password. Second use case is surveys. So many people will use platforms like SurveyMonkey to actually garner research and rich insights from their customers but WhatsApp's actually a more efficient way of doing this because customers can actually do it from the comfort of their phone without leaving the WhatsApp app so we really love to run snap surveys and that sort of thing using WhatsApp and it can be a really engaging and fun way of doing this mainly because of course WhatsApp allows for richer media so it means that you can actually easily serve people PDFs images videos for them to look at and then actually respond so if for example you you wanted to know which advert was going to be more compelling you could send them the two video clips and have them vote at the end of it so we love it for surveys especially number three on the list is from an HR perspective or an employee engagement perspective so particularly with bigger corporates we know that keeping your employees communicated with and engaged can be really really tricky so I love to suggest that big corporates look at using WhatsApp for actually doing just this but then sending a weekly kind of newsroom format mailer or message that's actually going to tell them everything that they need to know within kind of a glance so we know that open rates on emails are terrible so this is a great alternative to doing that fun use cases within this is of course stuff like voice notes from the CEO videos maybe from your HR team themselves and especially getting your employees involved so maybe get them to do the newsroom pitch themselves and rotate around the different teams in your company so this is a fabulous one for corporates and employee engagement Engagement. So the fourth way is actually to duplicate your website on WhatsApp. So this enables you to instead of have customers using the top nav bar in your website, actually engaging with your business one to one in a more personal and personalized fashion, which of course is great. It could answer things like any frequently asked questions. It could serve price lists, menus, you name it. So, so it's actually a really great way of having that one-to-one -one conversation and actually getting across the finer details that are probably on your website, but that no one's actually going to bother to go and find. Number five is customer service. Customer service is such an important part of almost every business, but using customer service with WhatsApp is really great because it means that when someone asks you a question you can copy and paste a response that's actually really long and detailed you could include PDFs you can include voice notes videos kind of tutorials that helps the customer to resolve whatever issue they are battling with and it also helps them to for example type in order numbers as opposed to having to read them to you over the phone which can be tedious for all parties involved the sixth way that I absolutely love seeing whatsapp being used is to replace store directories or giving people directions bear in mind that whatsapp bots mean that you can actually have a customer drop a pin and then respond with their closest store within the click of a button the seventh way I love seeing whatsapp bots in action is using them to replace the till slip 
with mechanics. So this is an age old marketing mechanic, which of course requires you to maybe write your name on the back of a till slip and then put it into a box. So what you can do with WhatsApp is actually encourage people to take a photo of their till slip. You can validate it using image recognition and then you can have them entered into some kind of draw. So it really does kind of make that marketing spin a little bit more enticing and is better because of course you are capturing that data automatically without someone actually having to go and sit and capture everyone who's entered that car competition in the grocery store. One of the other ways that I love seeing WhatsApp used is through cause-based marketing or educational resources. So what I mean by that is if for example you're trying to raise awareness about a cause like let's say cancer, you could actually use WhatsApp to raise funds for that cause, you could use it to educate people around the disease itself and say you know here's a lot of resources from credible sources that are actually going to enlighten you a little bit more about what it is that we're trying to raise awareness about as opposed to just handing out flyers or anything like that. It also means you can encourage people to engage with you over a longer period of time and serve them educational resources in a format and at a time that's usable for them. The next way that WhatsApp is super easy to replace older mechanics with is for voting. So getting people to actually watch videos in the same way that we suggested with the survey mechanic, look at pictures or open PDFs and then actually vote on what they think is right or just or better or anything in that regard. So I think it's a really nice way of actually getting people's opinion and actually garnering rich feedback from a sample size of people to get better insight into your business, into maybe your political party and into causes that potentially people are super passionate about. Next up is political WhatsApp bots. So we've started to see these emerge. It's a really, really cool use case of the technology because oftentimes when elections are approaching, people don't necessarily take the time to read referendums or anything that pertains to the governing party or any of the competitor parties. And so what you can use WhatsApp to do is you can actually engage the customers using things like interactive WhatsApp stickers to get to know the candidates, get to know their stance on a bunch of different causes, whether that be education or poverty or how they're addressing maybe economic development, transformation policies, anything like that. This is going to be a really cool way of getting people engaged and actually getting their opinion, whether or not they're willing to vote for your candidate, whether or not they're willing to vote for your party, and really have the ability to get into people's pockets, which we know is one of the most prolific ways in which to communicate with someone. Another super fun one is getting people to RSVP for events. So this is super straightforward. You could simply say to someone, this is when the event is happening. Will you be attending? Will you be bringing a plus one? Do you have any dietary requirements? And actually have it replace any of those older mechanics like email, SMS, or anything that's a little bit more passe. One of the funnest ways that we see WhatsApp being used is by facial recognition. So if, for example, you were a beauty brand and you wanted to understand whether or not someone would be interested in using your foundation product. So what you could actually do is run a facial recognition campaign that guesses your age and then says, based on your age, we feel that common skin concerns around this time would be things like dryness or wrinkle prevention or SPF, for example, and then actually be able to serve you product recommendations off the basis of that. So this is, sounds really kind of futuristic and advanced, but it's absolutely possible using WhatsApp bot functionality. What I love about this one is it's very unexpected from a customer perspective because they're going to be sitting there scratching their heads wondering how on earth are you doing this, but actually it's calling a different API that's able to return a suggested age based on this person maybe even their gender and then being able to serve them with tailored recommendations based off the back of that. Booking an appointment is one of the age-old questions or problems that us as marketers have to solve because in order for people to book service-based stuff they have to first reach out to you and make that appointment which can be difficult particularly if you work in an open plan office you're not going to be likely to phone and book your wax appointment whereas with WhatsApp this is a super easy way in which you can actually completely replace place this calling in mechanic. Next up is a video mashup mechanic which is also a favorite of mine. So what you could potentially do as a brand is create a music video around a specific occasion. So maybe Mother's Day, Father's Day, Youth Day, anything to that effect. And actually what you could get people to do is send in a video clip using WhatsApp to then serve them a mashup or compilation of all the different videos that were submitted for the purposes of that competition. Maybe they showcasing what they love about 
about their mom, what they love about their dad, or something like showing off their dance moves or beatboxing abilities. You get the picture, you could go super creative with this and I think it's a really fun use of actually getting people to send in videos and doing something fun with that output. Another fun one is an exercise challenge or any kind of challenge that you're trying to push people over a longer period of time. You could get them to engage with educational content around why changing their diet is important, how they can run 5Ks, how they can get off the couch and really serve as that encouragement mechanic which is very difficult to do on any other medium. So it's really all about relationship building, CRM, as well as making it fun for customers to engage with your brand and certainly if you are a big gym or any kind of person, maybe Pilates instructor that's trying to enforce positive change in someone's life, consider using a WhatsApp bot for this exact thing. I hope you guys enjoyed my 15 top ways of using a WhatsApp bot. I hope it did inspire you to think about ways in which it can be applied in your business. Next up we're going to be chatting through how exactly you can bridge that gap between the WhatsApp for Business app as well as the WhatsApp API. So there's actually an incredible software called Boomerang which is going to allow you to drag and drop and build a bot flow using your computer. It's actually proven that you can do this and launch within five minutes which means it's really not going to be a difficult process for you to undertake. It doesn't require any developers, it doesn't require any knowledge of code. It's simply going to be you having a play around in almost like a sandbox to ascertain whether or not you can work out a flow that's going to really impact your business positively and make communicating with your customers that much easier. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, I have popped a link as well as a special offer down below for my subscribers. So please do check that out. Be sure to subscribe because in the next upcoming videos I'm going to be sharing with you how you can build and launch a bot in less than five minutes as well as many other tutorials around how to use WhatsApp for your business. So I know that my subscribers absolutely love hearing about WhatsApp from me so certainly do keep an eye out for more of this kind of content. I'm so grateful to everyone's support. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers. I can't believe that anyone would want to hear me talk about WhatsApp but here we are. It's really been a pleasure to be on this journey with everyone and really share in my love for WhatsApp and your love for WhatsApp. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting my channel. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video so that we can continue to do digital better. I can help you out. I can help you out.